One of the interesting things about uh, using native plant materials for a xeric or low water use garden situation is that there's a wide variety. When you're selecting plants, be sure that you consider the growing zone that your particular site is located in. Many of them may require full sun, full exposure. Others may require a, a more partial shade or shady area. We have some of the, uh, the skull cap. We have lots of the pinstamens, the augustas type of plants that are perennials. Uh, there's numerous others such as the butterfly milkweed and some of the grasses, the little blue stem, tall blue stem, the switch grasses which are native to this area. They have some various selections of those types that would work quite well. Uh, the grasses in the fall, they will bring on various shades with their plumage or with their color of foliage that also will add interest to a, a low water use garden. We have a particular master gardener that works with this facet here and he's used a lot of gravel mulch around these particular plants with the intention that that type of mulch is what they natively would thrive in and so uh, also with this border here we do not give any more supplemental watering that may run off of the nearby sidewalk or area so it, it's very low maintenance once it's established with the mulch and an occasional weeding. So there's a, a wide selection. Uh, a lot of it is trial and error perhaps, but also observation, checking with other local gardeners that have similar conditions and what they're growing, and also checking with your local county extension office because there are publications and resources available. For more information, visit your local extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.